Hello and welcome to a new series of Mana Loads. Now this is a new game, it's one of the most wishlisted games on Steam right now. And basically, what you're seeing right now, I'm just gonna skip through this because this is a character creation and this took me way too long by the way. But this game was is, uh, originally made by like one person, now it's a bigger team of people working on it. And it's like a medieval set city builder game. Now this section, there is so much like things you can customize with the little shield. I'm the only thing I don't like that much is that there's not much, not much to do with the shield little banner logo thingy. But yeah, so originally I made it wrong, the wrong. I didn't like the first creation, so I made a second one. I know it doesn't matter that much, but it's kind of like Skyrim character creation, if you know what I mean. But anyway, let me not get too carried away with this. Um, basically, we'll do the banner, and I will show you as much as I can of the game. I'm not the greatest at showcasing things, but trust me when I say this, the ga this game is good. It's like gold quality good. It's still under development, just so you know, so my, some things might be glitchy, but it's pretty good anyway. Now, I'm gonna go with the, the main mode, the typical mode. Also, love the art all over the game. And here we are. So, basically, with the main like storylines of this game, victory mode, is to defeat the other player, which is a bot, if I'm not mistaken. And once you do that, you win. That's, I, you can read this, pause this and read through this, it's gonna tell you exactly what's happening. Okay, so, by the way, the detail in this game is insane. Look at the cow, or an ox, or I don't know how to exactly say that, but you know what I mean. So this is the main land, the yellow bit is the, the bad guys. It's, well, not the bad guys, they're technically not the bad guys, they're like, they're competing with us, but not directly. From my knowledge, I might be completely delusional right now. But if you know more about the games than me, please let me know down in the comments. Okay, so let's go through all the categories, see what's in them. Yeah, so these are all the categories. Now, I have played this before, but it was like a two months ago. Maybe some things have changed, maybe not, I don't know. We shall see. Now, water, water you can put only on the blue stuff, which is ground water, by the way. At least if you have that enabled, uh, we do have that enabled though, so we're gonna have to place it. Let's. What's a good pot to place it? Huh. I think I like next to the trees. You know the trees? Like the bang, look at that, beautiful, magnificent. Okay. Now, we prob we need timber more than anything. I, don't, I could be wrong, but I feel like I need timber because uh, most of the structures right now cost timber. Also, I should probably give you a little bit of a, like a, a notice. I'm a bit sick, so if I sound a bit messed up, you know, you know why. It's not like can't do anything about that. Really, like I'm running on like medicine, a lot of medicine. But anyway, let's connect the roads. Which, by the way, I love the road creation. I sound like it's kind of smooth. I like it. So you put that there, all the way to the berries. Let's craft that, nice. And we'll cra take one from the water well and put it there. Okay. I want to make this like a big ass crossroad. Like, how many roads can you connect to that? We'll see later. Okay. Let's grab the clay as well. Okay, let's connect it this way. Let's not make it too annoying. As I believe the roads do actually have a use, which is basically, it makes travel faster with the cows carrying things. Okay, here goes our berries, very nice. Or maybe, maybe let's not place it now, because there's not that many berries, and we probably should focus on some other things. Such as housing, because currently people are homeless, and that's gonna drop our reputation down, if I'm not mistaken, you know. Okay, we've... We've placed down the water well. There, I don't, have they finished making that? I don't know. Let's place down. Let's make a little market stall here. That way it's like close to the crossroad. I don't know if that's gonna have much of an importance where it's located, but we'll place it there because we'll place all the housing around it. 
now this as I said this game is still under development so things might be a bit buggy sometimes but overall the the game is very it's it's quite it feels smooth it looks smooth for the most part okay okay now I should probably explain the little the the big houses with the shaded area is the actual housing the little on the left the house with the little hammer basically represents an upgrade you can put like some sort of like a workstation there for the people in that building to do such a well, what was the like bakery or like a vegetable garden or like a, a Fletcher I think or something like that I don't know the exact names but it's it's nice, it's useful to get that little bit of extra. Like, yes, you cannot really put a person there, but for the vegetable gardens, because I do want to get some vegetable gardens, I want like a big land plot, kind of like this, but with an additional house. I'll show you what I mean if I can show you. And it basically means that another family can move in there on one property, so that's quite nice. Basically, what it means it's. Um, it, they, they will collect the vegetables faster. That way they don't spend like a whole day collecting vegetables. Okay. It's so... The, the detail in this game is insane. Look at them building it. And, the, and I love the... It's so weird that the, the British accents they have just like... Another beam coming up. It's... it's Pretty good, pretty good. I like it. I only seek to defend my rights. Okay, so this is basically now. This I still haven't fully figured how this works. If I'm not mistaken, it's like drag and drop the messages. Okay, so we can only really put this because we don't have much influence. Now I am gonna talk about influence. Influence you get influenced by either attacking camps from what I know or like growing your army I think that's one of the two ways Which we're gonna have to focus on if we wanna conquer the whole map nice look at that we have our first house the music is also pretty pretty dope Now this one, this this song, it's not the banger. There's one that is an abs. It, it's not, uh, you know. That, there's one that's fire. It's a classic. But it's not this one. This one's cool though as well. Is but it's not as cool as the other one. Okay. Also, we have two rich deposits. Now the rich deposits are the the. The little markers with like stone and clay, like that one for example, the clay one. If it has like a little crown, it means it has more collectible stuff before it runs out. Which we have clay and stone. Now personally, I'm not a big fan. I would much rather have like berries or food, some sort of food source. But that's fine as well, I'll take that. Okay. So in the corner, by the way, I would say that's pretty... I think that's good. I don't know why. I feel safe in the corner. Corner is safe. Okay, so... Now we're just gonna wait for them to construct the houses. And I slowly wait till the, some new families move in. Which, by the way, the population to the left... It's... The, the hammers with the hand and the one to the right of it basically means we have five families because four plus five, one is five, you know. But then there's like the, the people icon, which is I can't read that from here, but whether I have it like small windows when I'm playing, so I can't really sell much. So, some like tiny things. But that basically means that we have this much population. Now, when you assign someone to a structure, you don't actually assign the person, you assign the whole family. Which might be like four or five people. Or three, sometimes, you know. But it's like... 
population wise it's important but families is like what we're trying to get right now so you can construct because if you don't have a family assigned you they uh, focus on construction buildings okay I'm just trying to s spread as much knowledge as I know which is not that much but I'm trying to you know basically say everything I know before I'm gonna sit there confused which is gonna happen eventually I'm gonna sit here confused you probably see me do some hella stupid mistakes okay now this camp this camp should disappear eventually okay what well, we're missing stuff now we no we have stuff that's left out we should probably work on a granny also that's the um upgrades menu i was talking about let's pop down the granary or so the storage granary granary we should probably put it next to the f where we collect our food source from so they don't have to travel much i'm trying to think logically so we don't you know and storage storage we probably should put next to the timber collection as close as we can yeah let's put it like right here i would say that's probably a good location bang nice now we're i think we're almost out of wood are we family member joined now what that means is it has an I, we don't have a new family just uh, one more person to the population to a specific family okay let's make a road here and may let's make it like a neighborhood it's like basically just like this little area with houses rather than try to spread it because I'm not really sure I don't have a, like a layout in mind I don't know if this game really like focuses on like a layout of your town okay I think I might cut this part out because like we're just basically gonna now be waiting for them to slowly start constructing the houses I'm gonna quickly plan out the houses and stuff so put the sign one family to the timber stuff and yeah okay I'm gonna cut this out and I'll see you after the cut and we're back so uh, we've just got a skill point now I'm gonna talk about this because this is quite in interesting and important and I don't fully I think like this part is still missing a lot in this game because it's very like you don't get that many skill points as I thought because I already did a test run once so of this game so when you get like a skill point you can pick all of this stuff and the thing is a lot of this stuff is like either food production related or like all and I trade the, to the one to the right is trade the one to the bot specifically like I think armor and production and stuff and the left slash top is a bit of farming now i'm gonna go with bees don't ask why i don't have a clue but bees i always wanted a beehive in like in real life it sounds cool but it's a bit it sounds also a bit expensive like to extract the honey you need like a specific tool to keep the bees in this how the beehive and stuff what else do you need you need the suit Need the tools. Sounds expensive. Uh, who got bees? Let me know. But yeah, bees. Bees sound fun. <laughs> anyway, let me not get distracted. This is typical me, just like typical me gets distracted. So we got these, this, this plot, which basically these are all built, meaning no one's homeless anymore, which is a very good sign. And we've gotten like these big ones to the between. Yes, one here and one here. I'm not a big fan of how this one placed. 
Hmm. Let's think. Okay, you know, never mind. Let's just move along. I don't. Let me move. Try to move that one log from the middle of nowhere. Because I'm gonna want to place a church there somewhere over there, I think. Eventually. We're gonna have to move the hatching point also, but we'll do that later. Okay. What could we focus on right now? I think. Oh shit, we're missing a lot of. We're quite. What's the word I'm looking for? We're not very backed up with resources. Now it, it seems like we do have wood, but we probably should put fire firewood as well, just for the safety because we we got, we're running out of food, but we're not making any firewood either for the winter. So let's put let's put down a a firewood loggers. I don't know what's the name of it, but it's basically like firewood. Now I don't want to use up all of that timber to the left, so let's put it to that one to the right. And hmm. By the way, this is just like where everything you can plant. If it's green, it's good, fertile land. If it's red, it's bad, bad land. Okay. So oh shit, I forgot to actually put down the the berry harvester deposit thing. The forger's hat. Let's put that to very high priority. That way they'll build it faster. I can't believe I forgot about that. Okay. Build it, build it fast. Because once that runs out, we're going to have a... Pro because this is like a seasonal thing. So once a specific season changes, it no longer produces anything. Which is not good for us. It would be cool if, they like, if we get like fishing. Just one more source of one more source of like food. Because if you think about it, I feel like in medieval time they did a lot of fishing. Fishing seems like it has been always like a big part of like history. If you think about it, they used to like fish with sticks, poke them. Set this. Uh, they still haven't picked it up. We set it to directly on top of it. Maybe that that will they will do it faster. Also, I should probably mention. I know normally I make Minecraft videos, but Minecraft. Like, I've gone bought out of Minecraft. It's no. It hasn't hit the same, if you know what I mean, anymore. So, yeah. Even the hardcore series, I've I messed up with the hardcore series. By the way, the thing with the hardcore series is um, it was modded, and I picked the wrong type of like, I think I don't know if I picked fabric or whatever, but I've picked some weird launcher where I can't get many mods in, and all the mods that I can are a bit messed up, meaning they're like oldish or broken. And they even if they used to be like you know they they're not nothing news releasing, and it's not a challenge. Like it's a bit the hardcore world is very easy. I haven't died a single time so far, so it's like yeah, probably have ended with that series. We we'll see how long this one lasts. Though I'm gonna try to keep this one going. Probably not long. I'm, I think, for for Manolos because it's a fairly fresh game and it's like, you know, it's it's still a little under development. I think we'll do like four episodes, maybe five, depending how much we can do and how much we can get done per episode. But if you do have any other cool game recommendations to for us to like record and make series out of, please feel free to share. In fact, I believe there should be a Discord in my um, 
description of this video if you wanna join feel free to join okay so we've we're still making this house the storage people they don't seem to be doing much hmm we're just really waiting for people to move in right now we, this might be another one of those moments where we cut the video and wait until we get, you know, more people to move in. Okay, we're back. Finally got a family to move in, right? New family moved in. Now, basically, what this means is we can finally start assigning people to do extra jobs also i removed the people from the forge, forging hat so they don't collect berries because there's no berries to collect i moved them to the saw pit and the plan is the saw pit has been built and we want to build that church now the reason why we want to build the church is you might not fully understand this but with the church you can start upgrading buildings to level two well in the church, a tannery, or like some sort of like a fabric maker station, workstation. And they need to sell that as well. So I got a bit, a bit of a brain, brain freeze. Okay, what else? You need two stores to sell two types of variety of food, different types of food. Or just one store, but they need to sell two stuff, two different foods. And... A fire, firewood stall. Yes. And then you should be able to upgrade your house. So let's. Why is the storage full? Oh, oh shit! I forgot to turn. I forget that sometimes they make too much planks. Okay, let's sell that off. They made too much planks. Okay. Oh, I still forgot to move the hitching point. Okay. Let's move that hitching point to... Actually, where would be a good place to put it? Uh, I'm thinking next to the shrine or maybe like next to the the stone gathering area. Okay, nice. And let's also change... Do we want to change this? No, not yet, because we need some money anyway. And bang the church right there. Nice. Look at that. Fabulous. Ding is doing a great job. By the way, I don't think I, I don't think you saw me name it because it was a bit sped up. But a character's named Ding. Maurice has bandits, so we're gonna deal with those bandits eventually. They better not be fooled. Because we'll fool them. We'll pull up and we'll trash their camp. They don't see. They won't see us coming. Let's build that tannery so we get that fabric that I was talking about. Now, what the tannery does, it takes the leather from the hat hunter's hatch or the storage, and it changes it into into leather. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Give me a second. Let me let me rethink what I just said. It takes the the animal hide, which is unprocessed leather, and changes it into leather or process animal hide which is called leather I really oh I don't know what where I was going with them but I've messed that up deeply basically what I'm saying hunters leather turns into good leather sellable leather yes and then we can start upgrading the house to level two now I know you might not make might not be wondering why change level up to level 2? Well, number 2. Anything with level 2 is better than level 1. Rule number 1, that's always, remember. Anything with level 2 is better than level 1. N number 2, that's not a rule, but just reason number 2 is you can tax people in level 2 buildings for living in level 2 buildings. Or something like that. And basically that will bring us money which we can use to upgrade our houses also. Let's change the bell. I don't like this one's too this one's too deep. 
This one sounds like a cowbell. I don't want a church to sound like a cowbell. I like this one. Yeah, let's change it. Skip it to that one. I don't know what the church actually does if you assign a person to the church. Nice. Looking fabulous though. Tannery. Still building that thing. Come on. You have three families. Shouldn't be taking that long. Ooh, listen to that bell. That is some nice ringtone. Could set that as an alarm. Oh shit, it's winter. No, I don't like the winter in this game. It looks horrific. By that I mean it looks very depressing. Okay. Bandits all but not the berries, you know, like you can steal the tools and the leather, but not the berries. That's our food source, man. Come on, build on things faster, faster. We need, we need the leather, man. How can we upgrade our house if we don't have the leather? Sorry, I just died. I don't know if you heard that. I tried lowering my volume. I know I'm editing this as well. I could probably cut that out, but I'm not. I'm not gonna cut that out. You can hear me dying in the background. But I said I don't think I hold the the the, the flipping OG classic music soundtrack play yet. It's the one with the flute. Sounds amazing. Well, the the, the church bell goes hard as well, don't get me wrong. Family... Okay. We got... Is that 18? That is 18. You know what? I know 18. 18 is enough to attack someone. Let's grab that. Let's grab the militia that we've made, and attack someone. Specifically, the camp, the bandits camp, because when when you attack a bandit camp, you can get your staff back, and you can be sure I want my staff back. They ain't taking my staff, not for free. They're getting me back. Okay, now they're gonna give me a little tutorial. I don't need no tutorial. Okay, actually let me read that one more thing. Nah, it's fine. We're good. No need no tutorial. Okay, now this is a level two, so let's upgrade these to level two actually, sorry. This and still yet level 2. Oh, I can't upgrade this one, that's fine. If I'm gonna run out of timber, that's fine though. And uh, now, how do we make them move? I don't need the tutorial, don't worry. I know how to make them move. I click. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> maybe I don't know how to make them move. Maybe listening to the tutorial was a good idea. It's fine, I'll figure it out. Oh, I like how the trees disappear when you like hover, hover over. Uh, how do you? Okay. No. Well, I googled this once, like two months ago when I did the test one. Okay, so you can move them like that. So if I go here and do the same 
exact thing. Okay, you know what? That should work. That should work. Okay, cool. Now, once they do that, we can place the... Okay, so these two are still under construction. The That's a new bandit camp? Or is that an old one? Okay, never mind. This one is built. Okay, now let me show you what I meant. You see here you can get like a brewery, a blacksmith, a Fletcher's. We're gonna go with a blacksmith because we need more weapons for the for our army. And then we're gonna get the shields. Oh, yeah look, one new bandit camp. God damn. There's two in that state. We're gonna go we're gonna go defeat them. Actually you know what? I'm gonna do a little time lapse right now. Well, I say time lapse, I'm just gonna speed up the video because there's no actual way to time lapse this game without just speeding up the video. Like, hey, okay. actually, I changed my mind. I'm not gonna do make a time lapse because they're basically right there. So, but what was I saying about there's no real way of talking making a time lapse? Is you know how in like other games sometimes or like in real life you can just set a camera somewhere and will slowly record it like for example in minecraft you have like mods where you can i'm saying mods again because most games don't let you do that but you can take for example a mod like replay mod for example set a camera in like a in the mid air and just time lapse this one specific area whereas most games such as this game which is a bit sad i don't know why most games don't do that i guess because most games aren't made for content creation directly. Most people won't use it. But I like this. The fact that you can get up and close and personal. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can beat the shit out of the bandits personally. I'm joking. I don't think... There's no... The, this is still a beta feature. Or underwork. So basically... It, get, it can get a bit glitchy sometimes. The, I don't really, haven't really experienced much g bugs with this or glitches, aside from occasional like graphic, um, what's the word, word I'm looking for, the graphic is like almost static, or started like not rendered properly, but anyway. Yeah, basically you you are you technically not a real person in this when you're in this. Like nothing you you can interact with objects by like you won't go through trees. I don't know actually through trees, but I know you won't go through certain structures. But you cannot interact with any of the actual things. Like you can't talk to them, you can't do anything. You can sprint, walk around, look around and maybe walk into some structures by that I mean just like collide with them not actually enter the building okay they're walking very slowly I don't actually see the see our army I was going to say the enemy's army but we're literally standing with the enemy's army I think I see them in the distance yes I do okay they're on the way we're gonna we're gonna see up close them beat beat the hell out of each other. It's funny how they don't run. I wonder I wonder how it look like in real life. You think they run like this or they just kinda like walk to each other? <laughs> be quite anticlimactic if you like you in a in an in a war and some guy just like walks up to you slowly and just like hits you with a sword. We have spears. We have a built-in advantage of distance and length. They're not gonna hit us. With so much power, as a stick and a spiky thing at the end, we're undefeatable. In fact, I don't think we've lost a single person so far. I don't know, I can't tell who's who though. I don't know, I can't really tell who's the bandit. 
And who's the good guys? Just us. Okay. We've done it. Let's m get out of that. Uh, Raiders near. Okay, so this is the ways we're gonna have to go for everyone eventually. I'm gonna go, we'll find them in a year. Okay, there's the camp. Now, I think we have to, to loot the camp, we have to like send the troops there somehow. Like that? Nice. Okay, that should work. And now I know you can... Actually, I'll show you in a second after when they arrive there. It's quite impressive how much detail is in this game. I mean, I mainly play like all the games like Skyrim when it comes to like medieval stuff or fantasy. But I would still say I think this is pretty good. This, what I'm saying is basically I can't compare too much but it looks nice. Ooh, and you can see in the top right we've got some influence. 300 and something, so that's nice. As I said, that's one of the ways you can get influence. Now, to actually claim another area of land, you need 1,000. Okay, now, as you saw, I sent to the nearest town rather than taking them for myself because when you take the wealth to yourself, I think it's very minimal, whereas if you send it to your town, it actually has more impact. More effective, what I'm trying to say. Okay, but now we're also generating money as well from this in this town. Not for our own personal wealth, but for the town treasury. Okay, now we send them to this camp and uh, wait for the city for them to get there. It shouldn't take them too long. We're basically, right there anyway. And we go back here. Now it's March, so it should all start get going green again green and nice and we'll basically wait for them to finish constructing these buildings and then we're gonna we're gonna get the the shit for the world in say we're gonna start getting the tools and stuff to form more of our army Because, as you can see, there, there we have a big vegetable garden, which hopefully should start producing stuff this year. Because there's a family living there, so we shall see that go get to, you know, get in work. And yeah, okay, so we're gonna set this to side downs. It is set to side downs, so nice. Can we just like click on this already? Yeah, this one. Blacksmith, okay. Nice. How far are they? They're almost there. They're probably already on the... The bandits are probably already on their way. As soon as they probably cross the border. Yeah, look at them. They're so much faster as well. Oh, shit, I wasn't meant to hold it. Mm. Maybe, you know what, maybe it's fine. Defense. We still got 18 of our troops. If we send them to defense, they should have a much bit more uh, effective. Yeah, it's already less, less red. Oh no, okay. Basically, the effectiveness is how likely they are to win or lose less, which is win. <laughs> Sorry, it's like, it's, um, what time is it? 11, 11, 11 at night right now. So if I'm not making much English, you know why. I want to finish this video because I'm going to leave it and I'm going to edit it for like, the next two weeks 
knowing me. I have shared memory. Okay, but it seems like the the other leader is dealing with the other bandit camp, so I mean I'd much rather deal with it myself because then I claim it. Unless we manage to sneak in there before they do. I mean that's fine if if we don't. I'll pause for a second or go mute. Okay, so we're missing firewood. What? How? How come? The vegetable garden didn't seem to be much covered. Like there's only like a little bit in the corner. Settlement level up. Okay, back to the skill tree. I have no clue what I want. Uh, we might want to get the berries. By the way, let's rename our town, you know, our character's name Ding, so we make the town Dong, we get Ding Dong, <laughs> sorry, horrible humor, but it's, I think it's pretty funny, Ding Dong, Ding lives in Dong, a hey, Dong isn't a bad town name, I could imagine Dong being like a town name. Maybe not in the UK. For, for in the UK, for Dong to be a place, it would have to be like Dongshire, you know, or like Dongton. Maybe I don't know about Dongton, but I know Dongshire. Dongshire. I, I wouldn't be surprised if that's not a place. Okay. Now I want this to be that thing. Basically, that will create shields. And then we can start making specific infantry. Can we make it to that camp? I doubt it. Spoiler alert, we did not. But anyway, let's send this to the nearest town. And I'm gonna I'm gonna skip you some time. We did not make it there. They made it there before us. If you enjoyed this video like and subscribe and I, I don't know join the discord you've made it 43 minutes into this video that's very impressive I personally wouldn't be able to make it that long I appreciate you I don't know what else I can say see you in the next one. <laughs> oh my god I'm going to get some sleep now bye